Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Ahmed. Welcome to The Best Nutrition and this video is about creatine. Creatine is a compound our body needs. In uh, 2 to 5 grams of amount every day, our body can make it. From 3 amino acids, glycine, arginine and methionine. Okay. This supplement is very important for athletes, especially bodybuilders. Jay Cutler, former Mr. Olympia, says that you cannot create a bodybuilder without creatine. So now you know how important it is for exercise and lifting weights. How creatine helps is with the fact that it helps replenish ATPs. Creatine is stored in the form of creatine kinase in your skeletal muscles. So these skeletal muscles that put on more power, creatine is stored and it replenished ATP. ATP, which is sometimes called currency for energy. I would call it unit of energy inside your body. More ATPs are there in your body, especially in your muscles. More power will you have. People who have more power have more ATPs in their body. So creatine as it replenishes ATP, 80% 80 of ATP breakdown is replenished by creatine. So creatine builds more power in your muscles. It also improves your muscle mass, and improves uh, water retention and nutrient retention and develop muscles. Uh, for the first 5 to 10 seconds in every workout, in every set, it's creating that powers that movement. Okay. Because 5 to 10 seconds, your carbs and fats and other nutrients do not kick in. It's actually the phosphagen system is working for 5 to 10 seconds. And that phosphagen system is actually, there is a lot of interference by creatine in it. More creatine there, phosphagen system will work better. So 5 to 10 seconds, more creatine in your body, more workout you can do, more power you can put out. Now, how to increase it? How to increase the creatine storage in your muscles? Studies have shown that if you can supplement it, supplementation improves the storage by 18.5% to 20% in your muscles. Okay, it improves the recovery too. How does it improve recovery is the fact that when you are working out between the exercises or between, between the sets of an exercise, you need rest. In that rest period, there is one mechanism that goes on. Your body takes in more oxygen and it replaces creatine phosphate in your muscles, which is called rephosphorylation. This is replenishing, this is replenishment of creatine in the muscle. That process takes two minutes, right? Now, if you supplement your creatine by supplementation and uh, that two minutes would be reduced, because it's a supplement, creatine is just going in and uh, replenishing the creatine store. So you don't need that long period. So if you want to work out harder, you need creatine. Now, how can you supplement it? There are hundreds of companies who are selling creatine in different forms. Creatine ACL, creatine monohydrate, creatine, many other compounds. But creatine is the actual compound we are concerned with, right? So whatever the recommendations of those companies are, all of them come down to this thing that I'm going to tell you. There are two phases. Loading phase, maintenance phase. So in loading phase, you load up your muscles with creatine. During that time period, you need uh, 20 to 30 grams of creatine every day for two to five days. Okay. Yeah, I know it is surprising, but that's how it is. You're storing creatine in your muscles. So 20 to 30 gram of creatine every day for two to five days. Take four doses of five grams of creatine every day. And if you can take it with the glucose, if you can take it while your creatine stores are depleted, the storage will be must, the loading will be more effective. Do not 
take caffeine because caffeine is a diuretic and when you lose water you lose creatine too. Once you have done with the loading phase, you enter maintenance phase. In this maintenance phase, you can take 2 to 5 gram or even 7 gram per day of creatine. Okay, not more than that because your body has already stored enough creatine and you can do, you can work with that. Right? And it will improve your recovery a lot because International Society for Sports Nutrition also stated that if you take, and this is what in the maintenance phase, if you take 0.1 gram of creatine, per kilogram of your body weight every day with uh, carbohydrate and protein you will increase your muscle mass lean body mass and your recovery period will be reduced and your recovery will improve okay so use creatine as a supplement there are not many uh, side effects or disadvantages in it all right and uh, this brings my video to an end. See you in the next video blog.